Hello, my honey friends. Now we're going to watch a drama thriller film called The Voyeurs from 2021. Enjoy your viewing. The movie tells us about a couple in love. The girl's name is Pippa and the boy's name is Thomas. The lovers decide to live together and move into a rented apartment. In the evening, the couple decides to celebrate a new stage in their relationship. They open a bottle of wine and discuss plans for the future. In the evenings, Thomas drinks water and says that this is the secret to a long life. After a while, they notice flashes of light in the apartment across the street. The neighbor's apartment is located on the same level and the distance between them is very small. Pippa and Thomas watch as their neighbors are about to make love. The girl says that it is not necessary to spy on neighbors, but the enthusiastic Thomas says that they are not spying at all, but are engaged in love affairs and a couple of neighbors accidentally fell into their field of vision. That same evening, Pippa is in the bathroom, cleaning herself up. She is attracted to the neighbor's actions and is going to do something nice for Thomas. But when Pippa comes out of the bathroom, she notices that Thomas has already fallen asleep. The next day, Pippa goes to work with her friend Ari. She tells her about the neighbors. Ari explains to her that the neighbors probably want to be watched. That's why Pippa shouldn't feel guilty about watching the neighbors. Pippa works as an ophthalmologist in a clinic. At her work, a Japanese doctor gives her an empty birdcage and tells her about its great importance in Japan. Later, she comes home and she and Thomas continue to stand by the window and watch the neighbors. They notice that their neighbors are cool and it would be great to make friends with them. As they watch, they even make up names for them and say that the girl's name is probably Margot and her boyfriend's name is probably Brand. Suddenly, they see Brand choking and there is no time to call 911. Pippa and Thomas decide to go to the neighbors to save the boyfriend, but Margot helps Brand in time. Meanwhile, Pippa and Thomas are cheering them on by the window. It has become an exciting show for them. At night, Pippa can't sleep and gets out of bed to get a drink. She sees Margot leaving the house and Brand standing naked by the window. The sight of a man's body gives her pleasure. The next day, on his way home from work, Thomas buys binoculars. Their observations take on a whole new level. While looking through the binoculars, the couple of lovers notice their neighbor's mistress coming to visit. Brand was a photographer and apparently took advantage of his official position. While observing, Pippa decides to take a prank and she and Thomas make love. It was quite unusual, but they enjoyed it. Night falls, but Pippa can't fall asleep again. She goes to watch the neighbors. She sees that Margot has come home and is having lovemaking with Brand. The girl feels sorry for Margot because Margot is in love with her boyfriend and he is cheating on her. The next day, Pippa and Thomas meet with their friends and discuss their neighbor's infidelity. Pippa is eager to tell Margot about her husband's infidelity, but her friends and her husband convince her that she shouldn't interfere in other people's lives. Back home, the boy and the girl talk and come to the conclusion that it would be good not only to watch, but also to hear what the neighbors are talking about. Pippa suggests a crazy solution, to go to a costume party that their neighbors are throwing tonight. Tom agrees, and dressed in costumes, they head to the neighbor's house. At the party, they have fun and socialize with the guests. Pippa does not forget about the main thing. She discreetly sets up a small mirror near the window, and after that, they have some more fun at the party and return home. At home, Thomas sets up the equipment, and now they can not only spy, but also hear what their neighbors are saying. But all they hear is their neighbors fighting. The next day, Pippa is worried about Margot, but when she meets Margot at the clinic, she finds out that Margot's real name is Julia, and she is looking for new glasses. They have a good conversation, and as she leaves, Julia suggests that they meet again sometime, and Pippa agrees. Meanwhile, Thomas is working and is distracted when he sees Brand at a photo shoot with a naked black girl. He overhears their conversation and watches them make love. In the evening, a happy Pippa tells him about Julia and that she wants to be friends with her. In turn, the boy tells her about a black girl. Pippa gets angry and wants to tell Julia about it. Thomas asks her not to interfere. Julia puts on a beautiful outfit and tries to seduce Brand, but he is not in the mood and leaves the girl alone on the bed. The next day, Pippa meets Julia. They go to a spa and learn a lot about each other. The girls start talking about their boyfriends and Pippa finds out that Julia and Brand are officially married. Julia constantly praises her husband. Pippa realizes that she loves her husband very much. Days pass and Sebastian still continues to cheat on Julia with different girls. Pippa is very worried about Julia and she is sure that the girl must find out everything. Pippa can't stand it and finally decides to tell the girl about her husband's infidelity. At night, she connects her computer to Julia's wireless printer and sends her a message. Her husband is cheating on her and there is proof in the bathroom trash can. Sebastian wakes up, but Julia pretends everything is fine. Tom wakes up and sees Julia looking at the message on the printer. She goes to the bathroom and checks the trash can. She finds the evidence. Tom yells at Pippa for meddling in other people's problems. They notice that Julia is angry when she learns about her husband's infidelity and is about to kill him in her sleep. 
but at the last moment she changes her mind. Tom breaks the binoculars and gets angry. He wants them to never watch this apartment again. The next morning, Pippa says that they stop watching the neighbors, but suddenly Pippa sees that Julia sent herself to the other side using a knife last night. Tom is furious. He blames Pippa. Then he says that it's over between them and breaks up with her. He walks away, leaving the girl in tears. Pippa falls into depression. She watches Sebastian drinking across the street and realizes how hard it is for him too. She notices him leaving the house and walking towards the bar. She also leaves the house and goes to the same bar. Pippa sits down at a table and discreetly looks in Sebastian's direction. He notices the girl, approaches her, and gives her a few compliments. During their conversation, he asks the girl indecent questions, and then Sebastian apologizes and says that he is going through a very difficult time in his life. The boy says that he would really like to take a picture of Pippa and invites her to his apartment. When Pippa arrives at the apartment, she asks him about the photos, and Sebastian tells her that it's his job. The guy starts the photo shoot. He compliments the girl during the shoot and constantly seduces her, leaving her completely naked. They continue the photo shoot, but eventually start exercising. Meanwhile, Thomas returns to the apartment and takes the flowers to apologize to the girl. The guy goes to get a bottle of water, but he starts to hate the taste of it, so he throws it away. But when he does, he sees Pippa doing gymnastics with their neighbor. The next morning, Pippa wakes up and goes to her apartment. She finds flowers on the floor. When she looks up, she sees that Thomas is tangled up in a rope and has suffocated. She thinks it is her fault and is in shock. One day she meets her friend and tells her about the night. Ari tells her that it wasn't her fault and that she shouldn't blame herself. Together, they decide that the girls need to see each other again. She and her friend go to an exhibition presentation. Sebastian mentions Julia after which Pippa immediately wants to leave, but then the guy invites Julia to the stage and the shocked Pippa sees how the recently deceased Julia turns out to be alive and goes on stage. But this is where the fun begins. It turns out that this entire exhibition is dedicated to the story of Pippa and Thomas. From the very beginning, Sebastian and Julia knew that they were being watched and listened to. Pippa is shocked. She runs away from the exhibition in hysterics and breaks into her neighbor's apartment where she notices an entire room equipped to keep an eye on them. The next day, she wants to leave and helps the workers move her things out. She goes to the birdcage and finds chlorophyll water in it. She pours it out. Later, Julia and Sebastian are interviewed on television about the project, which has spread around the world. They have made a huge amount of money. In the process, they both finish the interview and find a bottle of vintage wine by the front door. A couple in love discusses whether they regret what they have done. Julia claims that she will never regret it. A little later, the couple receives a message through the printer in the usual way. In the message, Pippa confesses that she knows that she knows who was involved in Thomas's death. Frightened, Sebastian picks up his camera, and through the lens he notices Pippa on the roof. Sebastian and Julia start chasing her. When they catch up with the girl, the couple ask her what she has learned about them. Pippa tells them that they poisoned Thomas's water and then faked his death. The girl is sure that Thomas would never have done that on his own. Julia says that she has no proof, but she suddenly faints. Sebastian also begins to lose consciousness and realizes that the wine they were drinking was poisoned. While Sebastian and Julia were unconscious, Pippa used a laser, and now Sebastian and Julia will be blind for the rest of their lives. A few days later, new tenants move into Pippa's former apartment. They watch Julia and Sebastian, while Pippa is on the roof with her broken binoculars. She watches them from afar, and that's where the movie ends.